Eh, I reckon. I've got just enough time to do another one of these. I couldn't remember where it was exactly, so I was checking up on the research. We have a lot of things going. Excellent. That means they'll be done imminently. And that's exciting. We had no missions going on right now, right? You tell me if there were missions. Should have built my base there. That would have been an excellent spot for it. Now the Faroe Islands is also a great spot. What am I talking about? It's very cold today. <laughs> I can't like... <laughs> oh, I don't know what to say. I can't think about how else about how fucking cold it is and how cold it's been all day. It's real bad here. I'm wearing two layers of jumper inside. We have researched Sharp Guy. These dudes in fancy suits are pretty rich and can be ransomed for some good Dolaro. They're not aff affiliated with any faction though, so killing them won't really work towards our protection scheme. And he knows about High Rocks. Strictly speaking, it's an hill, not a rock. And it's not that high. But 100 meters is 100 meters. And the people of Central Province sure do love their lofty names. At the top is the magnificent palace of the local prince that, according to some, was built in ancient times and managed to survive the invasion. By the 25th century, the radioactivity of the area cleared up enough that people were able to resell. But the average life expectancy is short, even for the Central Province. At least the local rice fields return record harvests. The noble and well off, however, prefer to buy the food the guild imports from cleaner places. Hang on, did I click? Yeah, click recording instead of stream. Once again, I've done it right. I'm the best. That's the only one that finished. Hmm. But everything's excellent. What should we research? Could We could think about naming some dogs. I don't know what this is. We'll research that one. Because the promise of the unknown. Oh, okay. Now we get more research. These rocks be containing iron. I think we can smelt these to get lots of metal. It's going to take time. We've researched a big lump. Okay, all the other research is finished. Give me some chitin plates. Boost Highwayman. Maybe we should start looking into Gun. What if we understood Gun? Would this be possible? And this we've needed to do for a while, frankly. That'll give us 50 metal? We don't really need it. I mean, we got quite a lot of metal. We have a castaway gal. We should probably recruit them, huh? Oh wait, my thing's full in it. Because I built the thing on top of the thing. Remember the thing? It's a lot of metal and we don't really need that much metal right now. I don't know if we'd ever need that much metal. It's a lot of metal. This is Guild Hostess. This little lady feels proud and empowered by her relatively important duties and the weapon training she receives and thus will not back down that easily in a gunfight. In reality, she's just another exploited female, as her duties are just various forms of serfdom, from making drinks to cleaning other people's mess to even more degrading tasks. Even if none of them leave your hands dirty, a most a bit sticky. Don't have more regret shooting these than about any other corporate slaves. I thought they were important. Because <laughs> there's only one show up on a bunch of missions. And then know about the Steel Pact. I do kind of like all the law building ones about the, the different nations. Although, they don't really seem to get me anything. For centuries. The western coastline of South America was home to half a dozen piss-poor tiny states clinging to what little they could harvest from the sea and protected from the Amazonian deep ones by the mountains. Those mountains couldn't protect them from the tsunami waves that utterly... Waves bigger than mountains. 
that utterly devastate the tiny states, off from the Dark Dominion which quickly capitalised on its neighbour's bad luck by invading them. However, one Commandante Bolivar rose as head of the Resistance, and then as head of the Alliance when the occupiers were thrown out. A master of propaganda, he managed to turn the backwater into a land of belching low-tech factories and united nationalistic fervour. It is obvious that the goddess Dark Dominion is responsible. Godless Dark Dominion is responsible for all the bad things that happened. Huge contingents of steel tanks and men in black uniforms stand ready to confront the Dominion's superior technology with superior numbers, dedication and tactics. The war can break out at any moment now especially after everyone suspected of jeopardising the country's effort, their families and their dogs are exterminated. Okay. Have I researched? I guess I have, because I can't see it on the list. Ah, oh, I need to research the people as well, don't I? We'll work on this highwayman and then we'll, we'll worry about the rest after. Oh, we also did guild team leader. These lords amongst men and eyes of the guild exist to order minor guild personnel around and appeared surprisingly well. Maybe to create a position the inferiors will fight to achieve, which, as simple math shows, is impossible for most. Team leaders are uplifted to their status for unwavering loyalty and are otherwise too dense to be easily scared. In combat, their reactions are good, but their aim is terrible. They know about vodka! A luxury brand of a very strong human beverage. 330 proof, helium boosted, brewed on third grade depleted helium, collected from old space spaceport conduits and landing platforms. Not very popular outside of human cities, as mutants generally prefer the taste of much cheaper rye and potato vodka. Cosmopotovia allows you to quickly kill off the pain caused by an injury and disinfect the wound, thereby stopping further health loss. Doesn't replenish your hit points, though. Grants 8 morale to the user. You can actually use that to um, remove wounds. In fact, I think that's the only way you can use it. To, so you can only even get the plus morale boost if you get rid of the... If you use it on wounds. That's what we want! Give me that. <laughs> Where is? Hang on. I'm going to find it. I was at the bottom with my crack. I'm gonna find it. Any minute now. Easy. Important research. Kind of. We can make vodkas now. Okay, here's what I was thinking. We have too many rocks still. Hang on. How many of the small rocks have we got now? 820. <laughs> you have to keep an eye on that, because breaking the big rocks into small rocks will eventually just fill up your entire storage space. Because, of course, the small rocks are, are bigger than the big rocks they came from. Everyone knows this. Because there's more of them, you see. That's how things work. Mallow's not worth that much. Hang on, hang on. It's like seven and a half thousand if you smell it. I'm not even sure it's worth it. When you factor in how long it takes. We'll get rid of a little bit and we'll keep the rest in case we need a, a bunch of uh, metal. In a relatively short amount of time? Relatively short. Ooh, Mont's gonna, Mont's gonna turn over. Holes and drills. It's me, my captain, your favourite best brainer. I need to draw your attention to another issue we spoke about at the meeting. Our vaults contain the menacing all, the remains of our mysterious ship, as well as a certain tiny drill. It is clear that both artifacts hold great power, but should we embrace it or get rid of them before it's too late? The vaults are split, so it's your decision. You'll see two topics, each starting and ending with a question mark. It means that if you finish one, the other will be gone. I mean... Is it even a choice? Get out of here. Give me that power. I want it. 
Now the month's gonna turn over. Uh oh. It doesn't have guns. Is it another one of No, it's not one of the really slow ones. I don't wanna accidentally bother the It's fine. It's possibly landed somewhere around there, but it did be so hard for me to find him that it's not worth checking. Um I just don't have the vision range. You see, what it wants, and what's probably the best idea is, um, make one of the expedition teams, or whatever they're called, um, which is just a bunch of people walking really slowly around the map with really, really high vision range. Problem is, they're so vulnerable to being shot, because <laughs> they don't have guns, and they're so slow, they can't get away, so if, if uh... If anything with guns shows up, it's just gonna kill him, and then I'll lose whoever's in that group. So do I just fill it with, like, two peasants? <laughs> and just have them potter around? I guess I do. I guess that'd be the thing. We've researched a highway, man. He knows about oranges. I'm afraid that if it wasn't about oranges, this avenue of research would be completely fruitless. I okay. care. We should start researching the highwaymen. They have nothing left to tell us. We were so... <laughs> we tried our best and all we got was what oranges are. He was trying his best to explain oranges to a team of people <laughs> torturing him. <laughs> the poor man. Um... We should try and get through these. Especially the research. We have too much research to be doing. Oh, we need to do... And the, and the sector weed. We need to research sector weed. What am I doing? I gotta keep them... Mm -hmm. Gun almanacs are really good as well. And these are probably almost finished. It's fine. We do a lot of research here. Most of the things we do is research. Could already produce that. We know about chitin plates. Them plates, some nastier bug like beasties wear as eyes, be strong as plaster steel. Maybe us can even maybe us can get even footing and cover our eyes with such armor likewise. That would be really nice. Decent armor. Embrace the power. Destiny awaits. There was never really a choice. You're but a plaything of the gods, but by the time you're finished, even they might tremble at what you have created. Now we can research the menacing hole. The research got us more research. What are we doing? I paused for some reason. It's fine. Oh yeah, um, expeditions. Hunt party even. I don't have a free hang. Oh yeah, because I've got the Airbus still. Does that have things on it still? I was gonna save it for, um, you know, the bigger missions, the terror missions. I'm not even a hundred percent sure it's a better idea than the the other craft for those. Cause why are there five hundred of these again? Cause it's just. Like, they can shoot in from so many places. Like, yeah, you can bring one extra person, but also... All of the bullets come into the craft. And then what are you gonna do? Doesn't mean I can bring all this garbage on the other craft now. I know that you don't need to do this, but I always worry that I'll sell the craft with all the items on. Um, so... <laughs> I have to go through the list. It's my little ritual for, for decommissioning a craft. Don't worry about it. This is fine and normal. Oh, we got... We, we got... That was the one with the bananas on it. Okay. I'm gonna get rid of that. Air van is what we want. Air bus is what we don't need. We got some bullets. We just need a gun that shoots them.
You know what? Give me a hand. I should have waited till next month. Because I'll have to pay upkeep on that hill. And it... <laughs> oh, sorry about that. And it's literally one day away. Anyway. Oh, also we do have space. Oh, jeez. I just started sneezing out of nowhere. Sorry. <laughs> He definitely heard that. I am sorry. <laughs> the sneezing fit threw me off. Okay, yeah, we're getting rid of some of those rocks. We, we Maybe 500's too many. Should I, like... Airvan's not even back yet. Cut down the amount of things on the airvan. Because I was just like, well, I better dump all the rest of the garbage on now. But instead of that... Could take some of the garbage off. What do we absolutely not need? I'm getting I'm gonna sell some stuff. Happen gun, get out of here, you trash. Rusty Niner, trash. We'll keep a couple of small revolvers around. Six shooter, kinda trash. Black match pistol I do quite like though. That can stay. Nobody definitely gets to go on. Hand cannon, go for it. Pocket last charges, a bit trash. A little bit trash. We can shoot the Hacksaw one now. We've still got a little bit of Gothic Ray Gun ammo to use though. Sure, bring the Bandit SMG. See if I care. Definitely the laser pistol. Also, we don't have sword offs on this? Well, we better remedy that. The USC carbines do, like, shit all damage, but they're extremely accurate. Hydro laser gets to All the black powder bombs, uh, as many grenades as we've got, basically lying around. This looks fine to me. Um... We could bring more first aid kits now. I don't want to dump all my stuff on in case it gets blown up. <laughs> Which is, uh... Never fun. Do we need the beer when we have the moonshine and it's just better? I think it's heavier. Bring a little bit of beer. Where are my bananas? Okay. Now we really should sell the rest of the garbage. I'm sorry, there's been a lot of inventory this episode. Let me just go through some of the items and make the amount of them nice. Okay, yeah, guns. We don't need a lot of the guns. And then there won't be in the list anymore. And that'll be great too. Shiv, handle, fisticuffs. Kevlar SS armor. I guess I'll keep it around. It has Kevlar in it. I do... I do want, do want that. We can buy more, we can find more baseball bats if we need them. Um, giant bone, do we need giant bone? Cap are worth quite a bit. Keep the bow, I guess. Keep the chainsaw, just for, you know. You never know when a chainsaw could come in handy. The crossbow is garbage. Field staple is garbage. Harpoon gun's garbage. Holdout pistol, small revolver, rusty niner, all revolver, six shooter, all garbage. I'm not like 100% on the, the six shooter being garbage. It has use cases. It just doesn't do a lot of damage. And doesn't have a lot of bullets in it, but it fires quite quickly. You, mm, you, you worth too much pocket last charger. Get out of here. You don't need any more submachine guns. Ghetto gun was a terrible idea to start with. Scuffy and SMG will keep. That's nice. Old shotgun. 
We have better shotgun now. And small shotgun, you're trash too. Spray gun, you use the same ammo as the OSC carbine and do it worse. Um, these rifles can go? That's the good SMG, right? That's the MP5. We keep that. Diamond rifle does no damage. Old carbine, it can just go. Don't worry about it. Keep a hunting rifle? Mini cannon, and I will sell you immediately as soon as I start the game. Uh, hand flame is trash. Because it, it's a very close range flamethrower, there's an obvious problem there. Yeah. Happy with the selling we've done. We have a lot of things. What are all these things? They're only 50,000. It got rid of a lot of the garbage out of the inventory, though. Which is its own reward. What do you do on pie? I guess we continue getting rid of the big rocks. I'm not sure I'm bothered. <laughs> They're a total pain. Um, right, we have hunt pie. How many people need to be in hunt pie? Two pilots. Oh, the peasants are good now. Because they got the blue armor. We've been actually using them. Let's buy some, some more peasants. We'll buy some more disposable peasants. Also, we can upgrade another barrow. I think we upgrade this barrow and get rid of this barrow so we can have another big room. A lot of inventory this time. Sorry about that, Fox. Do it next month so you don't have to pay upkeep on it. Because it's one day away. We got a good score. Everyone's impressed. We paid slightly more in maintenance than we did on... than we got, but it's fine because we... That's normal. And we did some research. Pistols. The main advantage of pistols is that they suffer no accuracy penalty when your other hand is occupied. They're also fairly accurate, shoot very fast and fit the quick draw slot. Pistols also suffer the least when being fired in melee combat. Over 100% CQ accuracy. Main disadvantages are limited accurate range, lowest dam lowish damage, and reduced accuracy bonus from kneeling. We now understand how cased ammunition works, and we'll be able to reproduce it once we have a proper workshop. Getting to the workshop is tricky. Um, pistols in, in XCOM games are normally really, really good. Uh, they're not as good in this one as the Tentope, but the combination of like carrying three weapons that you could use in one hand. By three weapons, I mean like a sword, a gun, and a bunch of grenades. And just cycling things in and out of your hands is very strong. Pistols themselves are quite weak, but you know, you do a bit of damage at distance before you get in sword range against things that aren't worth throwing a grenade at. It's fine. We can re research Shiny Niner, we can clean the old bad guns. That's the only thing that finished. I want to research sector weed. I want to research weed. I wish you'd research. You'd learned about SMGs faster, guys. You're really letting me down here. Slender Audrey's here. We actually have been doing because we got all the armor. <laughs> We've been doing all right on the missions recently. That's fine. Put clothes back on then, I guess. We have tech vests and stuff. It's been going too well. Something horrible has to happen soon. Hang on, what am I doing? Yeah. 
You're doing great, Ivory Claw. Get in the tube. It's a lot of stamina plus. And strength plus. Just needs moonshine and rope. Ugh. Wait, 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 wait. Units required. Units available. It's not the other way around. We have enough rope. It's just the moonshine. Where's my moonshine? Build me some. I know I've made way too much, but that's fine because we're going to do more than one. Yeah. Um, we, can sh we can do the shake up on everyone. Great job, Ivory Claw. <laughs> Perfect. You know, the, the enemies weren't injuring us enough. We have to do it to ourselves. So machine guns have been researched. 200 SMGs and partially carbines fall under this category. These weapons have higher volume of fire and easier operation than rifles, as well as faster aiming usually allowing them to fire two aim shots per turn. They often have reduced single-handed use penalty per gun description and can be fired in melee at 90-100% to accuracy. Also, they're usually capable of spray fire, thus they're particularly good at delivering high amounts of pain at medium ranges. Good to know. Done something else as well. Uh, it's time to research weed. Let's go. What should we do next? What should we do next? Something weird and unexpected. Monster teeth, perhaps? Oh. <laughs> There's too many things in this list. I have no idea what I should be doing. Savvy girl must know important things. She's savvy. Gun almanac. Recoilless rifle. Twice heavy ammo piercing shells. Can I have one? Can I can I have a 125 damage recoilless rifle, please? That's why we got heavy weapons summary. I did notice that in the list. There are the two sacrificial rookies that are gonna be our hunt pack. How do I? How do fire? Why have I forgotten this? There we go. Uh, I don't see as much as I thought. An emission. I think. It's a bit late for a mission. Also. Turbulent Stomper and Stealthy Calypso. Hang on. Gotta take the gear off or it'll break. Turbulent Stomper. Get in the tube. Stealthy Calypso. You're also in the tube. I don't know why they sometimes get different things. How do you gain freshness from being tubed? Nah, no, you'd think it'd work. How many tech vests have we got around? I'm very excited by the amount of tech vests around. We got a nice little little squad here, you know. Blasphemous towel. Pantless Jezebel. Put on pants. Okay, um, yeah, that's, that's gonna be it for <laughs> this episode. <laughs> I'm sorry, I did it bad and slow. We'll bring a new bit. I'm sure they can do some work for me. Next time, we're gonna do that, that Ratman mission. But until then, I'm sorry, we're playing, like, real slow today and just reading a lot of stuff. I...
I don't know. <laughs> it's it's been a rough couple of weeks. Don't worry about it. <laughs> it's just so cold. I just I just want to be warm. <laughs> and of course, as you know, the only way I can uh, gain heat is is by your likes, comments, and subscriptions. So if if you don't want me to freeze to death. You know, you know what to do. Hit the bell next to the subscribe button, and so you'll be notified on the on the things. <laughs> be sure to hit that crazy little bell. <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, you gotta please the the algorithm. I'm gonna hit the button. I'm sorry. I can't. I can't help it. I mean, <laughs> bye, folks. <laughs>